everyone, how's it going? It's the fuzz! And uh, I thought I would do my part for the game by uh, going quickly going over yet another really degenerate deck that you can play if you want to. So, we've seen what kind of decks we've that have come up. Cloning Vats are everywhere. You know, Hate Bears now got even more ridiculous tools to play with with that silly little fairy. So... In my opinion, the best solution for that is you go face. Aggressiveness. And this is where demons come into play. So we're back to demons again because, oh, what can I say? Demons got a couple new toys to play with. And this deck, interestingly, only uses one of them. The uh, well-named Dr. Sticks, And we'll get to him in a little bit. So this video is going to be a rather short one because... I've already done a couple videos on demons, and not that much is different. So, think of this as a deck update, rather than a brand new deck type. This is like demons post-expansion. Uh, I've played like maybe 10 or so games today, and I've lost like zero times with it. It's, it's just really, really powerful because of Dr. Sticks. And anyways... We're going to get to this in a second, real quick. So, not much has changed in the early game. 4 Nightbringer, 4 Noxious, and 4 Zombie Legionnaire is your 12 card, 1 mana brigade for early game domination. Nightbringer, of course, costs 0 with Portal, so it's really nice if you can play it with Portal on the same turn. Word of Pain, the best thing about this card is that it, re that it cycles itself. So, it heals you, steals their life, and you get a new card. So, it's a great top deck as well. Four consumes, card is insane. Only three survivors. I haven't really found room for a fourth. If you really, really need to run a fourth, you could just cut a word of pain. Two vultures. I've never liked running more than two because it's actually not a very good two drop. And in almost every game I played, when vulture came down, I never actually used it to like pump it up or anything. It does occasionally come up. But generally not. You want to play Portal on 2 or Infected Survivor. Not really Vultures. But you do need Vultures because it can sometimes recycle your other demons in case you didn't, you know, win already. So, helps to have them. Four Portals, of course. Only three Harpies and four Bedeviled Fiends. This is a little bit of a difference because in my experience playing, Harpy has surprisingly been doing less work. And this is weird, I know. Because the VAT decks, you know, they don't care about Harpy because they they have plenty of creatures to spare. And Hate Bears play a lot of level 2 stuff. So, Bedeviled Fiend is actually the one that does the heavy lifting on turn 3 following a portal. Because it has 5 attack. That is just insane. So, it's much better to search and play a Bedeviled Fiend instead of a Harpy. Because of the extra pressure. You will only ever get the Harpy if you need it. And the only times you really, really do is against annoying crap like Charged Orite into a Runelet Incarnate. Crap like this. And, you know, in case you don't get a Noxious Fumes to deal with it. But otherwise, almost every time after I play Portal on turn 3, I want to play Bedeviled Fiend and not Harpy. Because Harpy hurts my board more. Whereas Bedeviled adds a tremendous punch. Then three Dr. Sticks, of course. This card is absolutely ridiculous and a tremendous addition to demons. What makes it so insane is that it's right on the curve after Bedeviled Fiend. You play Bedeviled on three after Portal, and then right after you can search out Underworld Scourge and play it on the curve. And it destroys one of your opponent's creatures, often letting your Bedeviled Fiend hit face for a five, and that is a huge deal. In fact, it's such a big deal that rather than search for and play a succubus on turn 5 like you normally did with demons, you sometimes just search another Dr. Sticks and then you play it and kill another one of their creatures. And that way your existing board just adds so much pressure they just can't deal with it. And because of this, we have cut down to just two succubus because interestingly, it's just not that necessary anymore. Usually you're already winning with your current board that you don't even need. Like, you don't need to have four of these because you're going to search it out if you need it. 
And a lot of the times, you just don't need it. Be deviled and sticks carry the game along with your consumes. You usually might search out one or something to just close out the game if you didn't get Word of Pain or something like that. But yeah, you, the, the games just end too quickly with demons. You, you just don't need it. You don't need it. Anyways, uh, I'm just going to give you guys a really quick example of how a typical demon game goes. Oh, besides that, two sanctums and all shrines, just typical stuff. So, not much changed. We cut down a two succubus, we cut one blood witch harpy, we added sticks, and we added some bedeviled fiends. Now, one interesting thing, there is no Bezorok in this deck. That may seem weird, but honestly, Bezorok just isn't necessary. He's good, but you, you win the game before you ever get to play him. So I thought I would just toss in one Bezorok just to have him, but I never played him. In all the games I've played with this deck, not once did I need to actually play a Bezorok. So it just ends up being kind of dead and not doing anything. Again, this deck is maximum aggression, just ridiculous pressure and aggression. You kill your opponent on an average of like five turns. So yeah, it's weird that a powerful demon like Bezorok just isn't necessary. It's all because of this guy. Dr. Sticks. It turned out that this is the demon that makes Portal pretty OP. It can also destroy your Portal. You Actually, I've never needed to do that. But, hey, doesn't hurt. And if you face another demon deck, you just destroy their Portal. Or you destroy cloning vats. But generally, you just destroy whatever garbage they put in front of you. And you just kick their ass. Anyways, I hope you enjoy Crushing Souls. Have a good time with that. And I'll see you guys next time. Alright, SWAT Blues. Ah, we don't have Portal. Mulligan for Portal. <laughs> we drew the fucking nuts, guys. Yeah, this hand is insane. It looks like he might be playing demons, too. That's gonna be really funny. Oh, yeah, he's playing demons. But I think he's behind. Now, I can coin another Zombie Legionnaire. Do I do it? Next turn, we search out a another... Yeah, sure. More damage and more pressure early. And he's taking damage. He's already taking damage. So, the idea is that by the time he gets Dr. Styx, we just crush him. Let's see what he plays. He might play Harpy. Wow. Two portals. I, I think he just signed his own death warrant. Like, dude, no, no, no. You do not, you do not do this. This is, this is just, this, this game is over. He's taking five more damage and another, like, three from his portals. He can search out Dr. Styx, but it's not gonna do anything. Yeah, he's down a, he's down a nine HP. And he's taking uh, five damage next turn. He has to get like Dr. Sticks and destroy his portal. Wow. Azurus. That's pretty interesting, actually. But I honestly think he's dead. He's taking. A billion, a billion damage right now. Okay, so we get... We got a 1-1 one, one attacking. Sure, be devil will do pretty well. That surprised me a little bit. That's pretty, pretty ballsy. But I don't see how he doesn't just die. I'll play this. And I'll get a Vulture to block. Do I even hit him for 1 damage? Yeah, I don't see why not. Oh! That was a mistake. <laughs> that was actually a mistake. I forgot that it works on... Uh, it mills my stuff too. But he's down to... What? 4 HP and he's taking 7?
Okay, he's got a sticks. I just win with Succubus, right? Yeah, I just win with Succubus. That was, uh... That was interesting. But like I said, this is turn 5, and it's game over. It's game over on turn 5. This was a fast and furious game. Absolutely merciless game. That second portal, that was ballsy. But, uh... I got a pretty insane hand, but wow, that was fun. Yeah, yeah, we got the nuts again. We got portal and two nightbringers. Be deviled on three. We got perfect curve. We're gonna toss Harpy. I don't think we need it right now. We'll keep the Noxious in case we need to remove something stupid like Assassin. Oh, he plays nothing. I misplayed a bit last game with that Azurus. I forgot Nightbringer mills both players, and then it's gonna trigger. That was stupid of me. But hey, Demon Mill is a thing. So now we just play Bedeviled on three, and another Nightbringer. And look at look at this. He he's he, he's like so dead. It's it's not even fair. It's legitimately unfair. Like he he's on. It's like, like turn three, and I have eight damage on the board, and I'm searching out Doctor Sticks. So I'm gonna destroy his Obelisk probably, or whatever creature he puts in the way. And yeah. He just can't... The, his only chance, his only chance right now is Gnome Power Engineer. To destroy the portal. That's it. That's the only chance. Rip in peace. I'm actually going to go ahead and destroy his uh, obelisk, I think. Because it just limits his options. It just takes another 8. He's playing like Vamplamp or something, but... Yeah, no, no chance. Just no chance. Yeah, this is just no chance. Absolutely no stopping such an offense. Rematch? Oh, no portal! Now nah, we want to draw cards. I don't think Sanctum's gonna do anything. I'm either gonna win this game very quickly, I'm gonna lose it very quickly. Oh, interesting. Yeah, my hand's actually terrible. It's really slow. Word of Power. What is he playing? Yeah, he's playing very slowly. Which is usually a death sentence against demons. But I opened really, really badly. Okay, that's that's better. But uh, uh, three turns later, it's quite a big difference. If he has Gnome Power, I'll probably lose the game. If not, I should be able to build a, build a big enough board that he can't uh, come back. Nah, just has shrines. Um, I'll play a vulture. I think it's good. Oh, uh, there's actually there's actually no creatures in his graveyard. Nope. Really? But there's more damage now. Okay, I can search out Dr. Styx. Um, it'll, I might destroy the Obelisk. He obviously is using it for something. I could destroy the... Uh, oh, no, that's a spell. Well, we don't destroy this crap anyways. I thought he was going to end of turn Expedition, actually. Try to get something. Okay, we're back in swing. We're a little bit delayed, but we're there. He still needs a little bit more. If Actually, if we destroy the obelisk, then he can't Cataclysm right away. Because he, he can use the Cataclysm to make a second uh, Dominion level. But if we blow it up, then he can't. I got five damage on the board right now, so death will come swiftly here. Does he not have any early game? I mean...
Yeah, just blow it up. It means you can't Cataclysm. I have nothing else to do with the mana. Even if he has Assassinate, I don't care. So he taking, he's taking six. He can't Cataclysm now. He actually could if he had the Obelisk. So big trouble now. And I think next time we just get the two Succubi. Like he can't Cataclysm and he's gonna just take... Um... Yeah, this game's over. Oh my god, Consume Spirit. That's just not fair. So what's our turn here? It's gonna be... Zero drop, consume, and... Well, he can actually he can Cataclysm next turn. He can Cataclysm, so we've got to deliver maximum damage. So we get the zero drop. And then... Yeah, we just do ma we just do maximum, like, complete spam here. I could have actually killed it. Yeah, that was a bit of a misplay. I just killed this dude off. And this is another... This is actually lethal right now. Yeah, it's just lethal. I thought I messed up. So this is a turn... 6? A little bit later. But this is because I got Portal a little bit late. Okay. Ah, uh, we got good cards, but no portal. We got Harpy, though. That could help. Nah, we moly for portal. I've got, got about the same kind of hand. We got Dr. Sticks, which is nice. It'll help me, like, kill some shit like, uh, Yena. So we're playing again without portal. Like, your odds of... If you... You got a hand of seven cards, and then hand of another seven cards... Like, off of Molly, your chances of getting a portal, or like, getting a specific card you want four of, I'd say are fairly high. Yeah, we'll just trade here. I think if he plays Ambush Strike, I'll just Noxious it instead. Is he actually gonna do it? Wow. Okay, I have to think for a second. If I play Dark... Nah, I think we still do it. Like, he spent his coin to kill a 1-drop. He's at most going to play one more elf. He's not even going to play an elf, so yeah, not a big deal. So, let's see what we get, actually. Yeah, I could actually clear his board here. But, um... Now I'm going to play this. We can play Dr. Sticks next, which is going to be a pretty big deal. If you play something like Sharpshooter, we can do that. And then we just start building the pressure quickly. Even if he has, like, Test of Time, it's not so bad, actually. We have powerful cards in hand. Actually, do I just consume them? Another portal... I have everything I'm gonna play, so let's just get a Nightbringer. I could consume, kill them both. Nah, we're gonna we're gonna do it this way. Sticks to kill this guy. Oh, it's three mana, I can't. Okay, my bad. So I'm actually gonna not attack because I wanna protect uh my guy. We'll consume next turn. I'm a little bit low on life, but I'm building a huge board. So I'm not too worried. Next turn is going to be, I think, Consume and Bedeviled. We're going to toss away Dark Portal, and Consume, Bedeviled, and then start the uh, Succubus train. Yeah, we obviously just going to chomp that. This guy swings for just a little bit more damage. Does he not have anything to play? Wolf Tongue. Okay. Um, yeah, again, we're gonna get this because we want maximum tempo.
I, yeah, I don't think I can die. Even I don't think I can die to a swift combo here. I have six life basically. He's down to twelve. I can get another zero drop, gain four life, and like four more damage on the board instead of succubus. It'll have to depend on what he plays. Or I might have to search for a Dr. Stick to blow this up, actually. Yeah, I might actually do that. I might blow up Portal for the first time. Well, that's actually really weak, if that's all he's doing. Yeah, that's really weak. I think we're fine. I'm gonna have to do a little bit of math to figure out what uh, the winning play is gonna be. So we're gonna get Dr. Sticks here. And we're not gonna play Succubus, I don't believe. No, we're not. We're gonna blow up the portal, and we're gonna bump up the board. I can actually I can blow up Silver Fang. How much damage can I do here? I can blow up Silver Fang, then gain the life. I can actually just sack uh, uh, sticks, gain four life, then. I. How much damage am I doing here? I'm a I gotta actually do math in this this one. Play sticks, kill that, gain four life. This is doing five. Minus that. It's gonna kill that, so it's gonna do two damage. I'm not gonna kill him, but I'm gonna have five life, basically. That might not be enough. Yeah, we're gonna play it a bit more safe here. Save myself a lot of life. We're gonna sack sticks because we need all the creatures we can get. Let's see where Silver Fang blocks. That's fine. He still takes seven from these guys, and he loses his only other guy. And he can't really afford to make another like wolf. That's just too slow. So now I have effectively 7 life. I don't see how he can kill me in just 5 mana. And he like can't just leave these alive. The question is, do I actually... I'm not actually sure if I win for sure. I'll have to, again, it'll depend on what he plays. But for the first time, we had to make the decision to blow up Portal. Because the other way, I would be down to 5 life. And it's a little bit dangerous. Okay. That basically costs 0 mana. He might as well have just put it in the front. Unicorn. Alright, so he's obviously not... He might attack uh, Sticks here. Really? Really? I really thought he had to attack Sticks. Like, he loses to, like, a Consumed Spirit. I didn't draw that, sadly. Um, okay, so that's gonna... Hit, that's just gonna hit face for four. I mean, let's see how he blocks, right? Yeah, that was a very poor, uh, very poor attack. Yeah, he loses the game. He takes two damage from that, and now Succubus wins. He had to trade with Sticks. Going face was just terrible. Alright. We got it! 